The Ad Show. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So today is the first proper haul for the small account. So yeah, we're gonna be growing the small account a little bit more obviously today because of the stuff that I picked up. Now pretty much all of this is new and sealed. There's actually one item for the main store that I've got to share with you that I will share with you first. That is a ceramic item. But the rest of it is all brand new and sealed. I've also got a little bit of RA as well in this haul which was nice to find. Obviously it's the 7th of Jan now. This is really the first proper charity shop join I've gone on in the new year. I did go around a couple of charity shops maybe on the 2nd or 3rd of January but I didn't really have loads of enthusiasm for it I wasn't really going around and going around loads of charity shops or anything like that but today it was the first official one and I was so motivated I was so ready to get back out there and I think having an extended break over Christmas which is what I did this year uh, really really helped me and I'm back in that kind of frame of mind of wanting to go picking and wanting to get out there so that being said let me share with you what I picked up today for obviously the new account and also for the main account. So first off we've got this little dish or tray I suppose it's a dish uh, it's sort of a rustic studio pottery uh, dish three pound here it's got this sort of Pisces fish sign on there at least that's what I would imagine it represents um, and yeah so three pound on that one and it's this Porf Leaven pottery I don't know if you're gonna see that to other, oh yeah, you can see that there, Porf Leaven Pottery. Now, I've seen certain ones of these go for around £10 plus post on Complete and Sold. Now, of course, I can't find the exact one because obviously these items are fairly unique in themselves, but, you know, similar ones have gone for around that. So I'm thinking of going for around that, possibly 12 99 plus post, if I can squeeze that out of it. But yeah, that'll be going on the main store. And that is the only item for the main store today. So next, a little bit of RA. Now, I'm not going to tell you where I got these from because obviously people might go out there. And if it is a nationwide thing, if it is a nationwide markdown, people can obviously buy them and then put them on eBay straight away. And I'm just shooting myself in the foot. So, I'm not going to tell you where I got it from, but this was £5 from a nationwide retailer that people will obviously know if I said the name. Um, but yeah, Star Wars Voices of Destiny, Ahsoka Tano figure, um, and yeah, £5 for this. I looked on complete and sold. Generally, there's a little bit of fluctuation. There's a couple that have gone less than this, but generally these go between £15 and £20 plus postage. So I'm going to go in that range kind of thing, and these will be going on the new account as well. So I actually got two of these so there's the two there um so yeah i just picked up two of them i think there might have been one or two others on the shelf but i thought i'm not really incredibly confident on these or anything um and it isn't like an amazing margin or anything five pound into 15 to 20 pound isn't like crazy so i thought i'd just pick up a couple of them and see how i go I'm not really one for RA other than Lego. I know I've specified that in, in videos in the past. I've always said I'm not too comfortable with RA unless it's Lego. With Lego, I feel a bit more comfortable. So I, I always do get a bit cautious with certain things uh, with RA if it's, you know, figures or something like that. But these should do okay. And uh, yeah, I should sell them fairly quick. So yeah, that's those two anyway there. Uh, next here we've got this Comic Maker Kit Ben 10, uh, £3 it was originally stickered up at in the charity shop and then it was reduced in the sale of the big red sticker there to one ninety nine. But I was having a big long chat with, I think he's the sales assistant in that store, I'm not sure. But I was having a big long chat to this guy in there, I know him quite well. Um, and yeah, he actually, when he, when he was ringing it through, he said, for you, I'll do it for a pound. So that was really nice. So I actually got this for a pound, uh, which was really, really cool. Now, obviously, this isn't something that's amazing or anything like that. I've seen one actually go, which is really, really odd, for £16.99. I think I saw another one go for maybe a little bit less than that. Um, but there has been a couple gone for around seven quid plus postage, about £10 inclusive of postage. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking of going around that. I'll probably be putting, I'm, I'm not sure, I might put this on auction on the second store and just get, I want, see, I want to buy things. I've, I've mentioned in the other video about my, you know, the second account. I want to buy things that I can just flip on auction that just gets me a little bit of money in and just keeps things turning over. I want that second store to be really, really good cash flow. I don't 
don't really want tons of items on it. I just want to keep flipping things. I want to keep flipping, keep flipping, keep flipping. And yeah, you know, on certain items, I might only make three or four quid net profit. On other items, you might go up higher and, you know, I might make a good bit of net profit. But I just want constant flow on that store. I don't want things to just sit on there forever and ever and ever. I don't want, you know, 400, 500, 1,000 items or anything on there. I want this to be a store that is good cash flow, that is constantly being flipped over. So, yeah, anyway, I'm, I'll probably put it on auction, get a bit of money back. And from a pound, I can't really go wrong. So, yeah, there's that one. So, next, another new and sealed jigsaw. Now, this one might take a little bit longer to go. I am still going to put it on the new store, though. It's this Charlie Harper Biodiversity... Biodiversity the Burbs? Don't even know what that's in reference to, but obviously it's some sort of title. 300-piece uh, puzzle here. Um, art piece puzzle. I've never seen this brand of puzzles before. £3.49 in British Heart Foundation this was. And a lot of these puzzles, brand new and sealed, seem to be steadily going for £14.99. It might take a little bit of a while, you know, I wouldn't say crazy long time to go, but it might take a few weeks or something to go. Um, but yeah, there, there have been sales of these and, of course, uh, as I say, around that sort of £14.99 quite steadily. So, yeah, that's that one there anyway. Uh, nice little item. I'm going to be at a half-decent margin in that. I probably will put this one on by it now, though, because um, I don't know whether it'll go very well on auction. But I still think even putting that on at buy it now, it shouldn't take forever to go. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, that's that one there anyway. Next, we've got this Ravensburger puzzle. This is the Lowry Art and Entertainment, uh, LS Lowry coming from the mill 1930. Now, I actually saw this on the shelf and I thought, hang on a minute, that's a bit of a different Ravensburger puzzle. And I've seen a lot of Ravensburger puzzles and some of them these days actually don't go for much money. But this is, you know, I mean, I'm talking even brand new and sealed, you might only go six, seven quid, something like that. Especially the really small ones. Obviously, this is a thousand piece, so it's a bit better. Um, but yeah, it's a bit different this one obviously it's brand new and sealed um and i had a look up and i think well but again i mean for probably from about 11 12 pound up to about maybe 17 pounds something like that some of those are plus your postage on some of those have done free post um i think i did see one at about 14.95 on complete and sold plus postage so i might be tempted to go for around that now i did pay four quid for that i don't know whether you can see it there but yeah stick it up at four quid but i thought i I just couldn't kind of resist it. I thought, I want to pick that up. It's an interesting item. What I might do is try it on auction at 14 99 plus my postage, obviously, on the new account. And see if it gets picked off over seven days. Because I, I think it might do at that. Uh, and you never know, it might go up a little bit as well. So it'll be interesting to see on that one. Of course, as well, as I've said in past videos, you're very welcome to go down below. The link will be down below to the new store. And obviously, I'll be listing these items in the next few days. So by the time this video comes out, these items either might be close to selling or might have already sold. And you can actually go on that account and you can actually see what I got for these. Or you can even, if... You you know what someone in your family wants one of these for themselves and or even you want it for yourselves then feel feel free to whack a bid in it on the store as well um and yeah so that'll be interesting for us to see uh, what some of these items go for and of course even if you don't catch them or you don't know how to look at solds on a specific account then i'll probably share them in sales updates anyway so it won't be too bad you'll still get to know what these sold for so yeah that's that one there anyway so next, it's funny that I should pick one of these up because obviously I showed one in a video the other day. In fact, I didn't just pick one of them up. I picked four of these up from a local supermarket. They only had four left in stock. I would have bought about 20 of these if there was 20 on the shelf, but no, uh, there was only four left, which is a bit of a shame. But £5 for these Brickheads Mr. and Mrs. Claus sets. This is going to be 20 quid all day long next Christmas, so I probably won't sell these now. The margin just won't be brilliant now, but next Christmas, £20 all day long, and uh, that'd be a nice little margin there. So as I say, I've got four of them. So here we are here. Here's another two. And then here as well. So yeah, four of them there. Nice little margin next Christmas. Obviously, I will be doing a bit of waiting, but I'm just going to store them in my lockup. Just leave them with all the rest of the Lego and also any other Lego I collect over the year. And then get them out next Christmas. Possibly whack them up to Amazon. Or if I'm not selling on Amazon or if I'm not sending stuff up to Amazon, I don't know what I'll be doing next Christmas. But if I'm not doing that, then obviously I will sell them on eBay. And again, it should be around 20 quid on eBay. It might be more 
more so on Amazon actually, but yeah, so that's going to be those. And then finally, we've got this brand new and sealed Ingenious, um, sort of the strategy, yeah, so it's like a strategy game here. £3.50, I paid for that one. Now, um, there are some little rips and tears to the seal in a couple of places there's another one there uh yeah just a few whips and stuff to the seal with just a little bit of damage to the seal now i can't remember what this was going for was it i think i saw one completed and sold there was one that had gone for around 17 quid uh there was possibly one that had got there was certainly one that had gone for and that's by it now by the way there was one on auction that had gone for £12.50 plus post um so yeah I, I think I'd be okay with that one now I'm not sure whether I'm going to do obviously it is going to go on the new account but I'm not sure whether I'm going to do it auction or buy it now we'll see but if I put it on at auction I'll probably go minimum £12.99 sort of starting bid plus post and even if I only get one bid which is probably going to be the case at that price at that starting price I'm happy with that it just flips it qu quickly obviously I'll still have what six seven quid profit on that uh you know within sort of seven days so i'd be happy with that um and yeah so that's that one there anyway but obviously i will have to mention um in the description that we've got those little tears to the seal and i might have to list it as used or hopefully ebay will actually give me the option for new other this time it didn't give me the option for new other the other day but if it gives me the option for new other then i'll just list it as that um but yeah 3 350 on that ingenious board game there and that is everything for today's haul video, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you got some good, valuable information out of that. Uh, I'm going to be listing these items over the next few days, possibly even a few today as well. And uh, yeah, we'll get those on the new account. And uh, we'll see if we can't do some flipping on some auctions and some kind of, uh, you know, get some things moving and get a little bit of profit through the door quite quickly rather than obviously when you're doing some stuff on buy it now sometimes it can take a few weeks to sell so it will be interesting this little experiment of doing a few more items on auction but that being said i won't ramble anymore all i will say is if you did like the video if you did enjoy it then please do consider subscribing and obviously if you liked the video then please whack the like button down below and if you have any comments questions or queries then please do drop them down below and as i mentioned sort of part way through the video if you do want to look, have a look at the store, then please go down below in the description where you will find the link to the second account. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. So I will see you very soon, guys. Slow down.